I caved in. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's the Poodle Mom again with the Two Toy Poodles. Today we're going to be unboxing the new slicker brush that I got for the two girls. And I, I'm absolutely excited because this has been receiving a lot of really, really good reviews, both from professional groomers and dog owners who have been using this. I am going to be grooming the two girls today and we're going to be trying this out. So if you guys are interested in that, then please keep on watching. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and maybe share the video. It would really help the channel. All right, let's get on with it. Here it is. Oops. Uh, that's my receipt, most likely. So it comes in a box like this. But... Oh! I thought this was just packaging or something, or a bag. They sent other things! Okay, I paid for this. I have the receipt to prove it. But they did send us other things, so... You guys, this is not cheap. Because this is one of the brushes that I wanted to buy as well. And I was just choosing between the two. So I have the Mark II slicker brush. I initially wanted to buy this one because I heard that this triangular brush is useful for like the nooks and crannies of your dogs, like like underneath their paws and <laughs> my armpit. Um, in between their noses and stuff. There have been really, really good reviews for this, and I really wanted it too. Thank you! And what it like. I think it's a bag. <gasps> no! It's a grooming apron! <laughs> Thank you so much! I will definitely put this to good use. Thank you so much, Chris Christensen. I'm so happy! Merry Christmas to me! Yeah, I know. I, I I keep saying it's for my girls, but honestly, it's 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 for me. For it's not a need, it's a want. But you know, time is gold. <laughs> so let's go back to the main highlight of this video. This is the medium Big G Coral Slicker Brush. I got it from the local distributor here in the Philippines for around 4,000 pesos or $80. But it's also available on Amazon for everyone for roughly $65 and below. It's absolutely beautiful. It's so premium to the touch. Very, very simple packaging. Um, I think all Chris Christensen brushes um, come in this kind of packaging. They always have this um, plastic to protect just the pins or the, the area of the brush wherein there are pins. So this is what you will get in the box. So you open it, and then you push it up. And that's basically it. I am absolutely excited to try this. And so let's get on with grooming the girls. I just finished grooming them and <laughs> they are so tired because I would have to be honest, it wasn't as easy as I thought the brushing would be when using this the first time. Not because it's not a good quality product, but this brush is so good because it showed me the mistakes that I have been making in brushing, most especially summer. With the Mark II, what I realized is I think it only is able to brush the top coat. What does that mean? So the Mark II is able to brush quickly, even if I just pull up the fur and then it'll just brush right away because it has smaller bristle brushes. But this one has longer brushes, if you would notice. So it really dives into the coat and you're not gonna be able to pull down if there are mats. And that's what I realized with this first time of grooming Summer with the new slicker brush that I have. Summer had so many mats and <laughs> It honestly took longer than expected to actually groom them today. It wasn't, it's not severe, don't get me wrong. It, it's not like the crazy clumps, 
but since I wasn't able to thoroughly brush her from the roots, there were mats when I started pulling this slicker brush. So as you can see here, I cannot pull and it's I I'm having a hard time. And when I pull up, it's hurting her. So that means there's matting there. I haven't thoroughly been able to separate the coat enough to the point that it will brush quickly. I don't think this brush would be good if you do not regularly brush your dogs. It's for people who want to take maintaining their dog's coat seriously. I would not recommend this to anyone who just wants it because they think it's just gonna make their lives easier, period. If you will not put the brush to good use, meaning you're not gonna be using it at least every day or every other day, then do not get it. It's not worth it because you will just be wasting the brush and you will just get frustrated with it. But if you know that you will be using it every single day and you have the extra cash and you're choosing between the Mark II slicker brush or this one, please, I would highly recommend that you get the Big G Coral slicker brush. So those are my initial thoughts for now. I will be using this brush every single day this week and maybe for a whole month. And then maybe I can make another video of a thorough review and as well as a comparison of the Big G. I have now the Mark II and as well as the new brush that Chris Christensen also sent us. So that's it. We hope you enjoyed the video and maybe learned something from it. And if you have questions, just feel free to comment them down below. We answer all the comments as much as we can and as fast as we can. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and we'll see you again next time. Bye. on my dogs. I usually test it on me. Okay.